In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, Living the Word friends. Today we reflect on the life of St. Richard of Chichester, born in Worcestershire around 1197. Overcoming early adversities, including orphanhood, Richard pursued a life dedicated to the church. As the Bishop of Chichester from 1245 to 1253, he was revered for his austere lifestyle, dedication to the poor, and commitment to ecclesiastical reform. His contributions extended to promoting the Crusades, reflecting his deep faith. Canonized in 1262, St. Richard's legacy continues to inspire us with his devotion and service. As we remember him on April 3rd, let his life encourage humility and charity in our own spiritual journeys. Richard of Wish, known as Richard of Chichester, is a celebrated figure in the Catholic Church, renowned for his spiritual depth and commitment to fighting corruption, an aspect that further accentuates the challenges and triumphs of his life. Born around 1197 in Droitwich, Worcestershire, Richard's early life was fraught with hardship, including his father's death, which led to difficulties in managing the family estate. Displaying remarkable resilience and skill, he restored the family's fortunes before entrusting them to his brother Robert. Choosing a life of spiritual and academic dedication over marriage, Richard studied at Oxford, forming a pivotal friendship with Edmund Rich. His academic journey took him to the University of Paris, culminating in his ordination and a distinguished career, first as Chancellor of Oxford University, then of the Diocese of Canterbury. In 1244, upon the death of Ralph Neville, Bishop of Chichester, Richard's spiritual journey took a significant turn. Despite King Henry III's favoritism towards Robert Passalou, the Church's hierarchy's preference for Richard prevailed, leading to his consecration as Bishop of Chichester in 1245. Richard's tenure as bishop is notable for his vigorous stance against corruption and his unyielding advocacy for reform. His commitment to eradicating corruption was not just a policy but a practical, hands-on approach, as evidenced in his confrontation of those who defied the sanctity of the Church's sanctuary rites. This unwavering stand against injustice showcased his deep commitment to moral and ethical principles. As a bishop, Richard embraced an austere lifestyle, channeling most of his income to assist the poor. He was equally committed to elevating the standards of clerical life and discipline through the implementation of detailed statutes in his diocese. These reforms raised the bar for clergy and enhanced the administration of sacraments and other church functions. Richard's influence extended beyond his diocese through his involvement in the Crusades, playing a crucial role as a collector for the Crusade subsidy and an enthusiastic promoter of the cause. His devotion to this mission was relentless until his untimely death in Dover in 1253. After his passing, Richard's spiritual journey did not end. His life, marked by humility, selfless service, and an unwavering commitment to his faith, culminated in his canonization by Pope Urban IV in 1262, just nine years posthumously. His prayer, reflecting his spiritual journey, poignantly expresses gratitude to Jesus Christ for blessings and sufferings alike, echoing his deep desire to know, love, and follow Christ more closely. Join us, brothers and sisters of the channel Living the Word, as we pray with St. Richard his most famous prayer, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to thee, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits thou hast given me, for all the pains and insults thou hast borne for me. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly. Amen.